Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 380. Find beautiful indexes and a given away one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, yeah, so there is a harder version of this. The harder version is in Q4. We'll go over Q4 and Q4. So if you're watching this, I don't know, look for that thing. But, but that's it. During the contest, to be honest, I, f I forgot to look out for, um, for the multiple question things. I don't think, I think this is a really crappy use. For this particular one, especially for Q4, but that is just me. Um, anyway, but for Q2, the key thing to note is that even though n is pretty big, the length of a and b is only 10, so you can do however you like. Um, and the way that I do it is just a very basic comparison. Um, yeah, um, but I use binary search, so you could use uh, two two pointers as well. Um, but yeah. But basically, the idea here is that, okay, I, I get an AR, all the indexes where A is, you know, the A string exists, and all the indexes where B string exists. So we get AR and BR, we put it here. Um, and then after that, I just do this thing. Uh, and this is basically, like I said, you could do, you, and I think you should actually use the two pointers, to be honest. I think that makes it much faster, um, or at least log n faster or something like this. But, um, but, but I, I didn't do it because I was, I didn't want to worry about edge cases. I thought this was cleaner. I don't know. You may not disagree. I mean, you may disagree and that's fine. I think I recommend using, um, two pointers for this part, but during the contest, I did not. So I'm giving you my code. Um, and I was worrying about solving speed and also just like my chances of error. And this is more for myself, right? Because I know that if I write, to, I, I'm a little bit weaker on the two pointers. Like if I'm forced to, if I have to, I can do it. But I just didn't, I just thought that like here with the binary search, I can get it immediately. So that's what I did. Um, but yeah, um, so the way that I did this, um, you know, this is going to be O of N times M, where M is maybe the length of A or B or something like this. Um, but M of course is only up to 10 in the constraints. So we, that's why I got away with it. And like I said, I probably would have solved this a little bit differently if I realized that this is also Q4, but during the contest, I didn't realize. Uh, and you can actually see when, when you, if you watch the Q4 video, um, I, I'm like, oh, this is Q2. I should have known this. And I knew how to do this, actually, because as I was solving this, I was like, and you could watch the live portion, because um, as I was solving this, I was like, oh, uh, M is only 10. We can solve this. If this was harder, I, I would do um, a rowing hash, um, Robin Corp. Um, spoiler alert, <laughs> but we'll go over that in Q4. Um, but for this one, I didn't need to, and I didn't. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Uh, so th yeah, like I said, this is going to be n times m, or n times n a plus n b, uh, and this is going to be o of um, uh, o of n a log n b. You could, yeah. So that's pretty, which which is pretty fast because this. Oh wait, no, that's not true. That's not O of A, N, A. This is O of N, because there can be N indexes. So yeah, so it's going to be N log N here. Sorry, friends, I, I got a little bit crossed it. But, uh, but yeah, this is N log N. So you can make it O of N by having two pointers, as I say. But but yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that's what I have for this one. I think I'm going to upsolve using the two pointers, but I'm going to do that in the Q4 video. So definitely check that out. But that's what I have for Q2. Let me know what you think. Like I said, this is a little bit silly, but I, I when I solved this, I didn't think about Q4. So yeah, um, yeah, you could watch me solve it live during a contest now. Less error pong. That's why. I must write that one. <clears throat> I is beautiful. Man, this is a lot of reading.
highest beautiful of the excess so that means that you have to do it for each eye oh wait no just indexes that was a very awkward problem it's only 10 i guess okay let's just do it lazily then otherwise i would use another thing um okay I think this is fast enough, but I guess we'll see. Um, I know I could probably whatever, but. It's a very awkward problem. This is good. Very error, like very used to make errors. Okay. Oof. What a weird problem. <clears throat> uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem, today's contest, you know, anything in between. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.